Mario Kart 8! I freaking love Mario Kart 8. The physics are so much more refined over previous entries. <laughs> Mario Kart 7. <laughs> But with a new engine comes ways to abuse how the game works. Thus, advanced techniques are born. Please note that the first three of these techniques will not work with any inwards turning bikes. Outwards turning bikes are fine. The first technique is probably one that most of you already know of. The fire hop. This one is fairly easy to do and can be mastered fairly quickly. All you need to do is during any boost, hop to either the left or right repetitively and you'll go slightly further than you normally would during a boost. You'll probably want to alternate hopping left and right, as this way you can maintain going in a fairly straight line. This technique works because you lose speed faster when in contact with the ground. You'll want to do about 2 hops during a mini turbo and 4 hops during a super mini turbo. Some downwards hills you'll notice that hopping actually makes you go slower. In this case, instead of hopping quickly, you'll need to initiate a drift and then quickly hop into another drift. The second technique is even easier to do. This one is called soft drifting. All you need to do is when drifting, hold the analog stick at a 45 degree angle instead of all the way right. This will cause you to drift as tight as not moving the analog stick at all, but will charge up a mini turbo at a speed of holding the analog stick all the way right. You can also use the D-pad and just hold up and right if you want a bit more accuracy. Of course, flip right with left if you're drifting to the left instead. This technique is great for getting the mini turbo charge when the turn isn't tight enough. The next technique probably isn't as useful as the other two, but it is still worth mentioning. Spin drift is a technique that you can use that will make your hop slightly shorter and will also give you a tighter turn. To do this, Move and hop in the direction you don't want to drift in, then at the tip of your jump, change to the opposite direction. So those are the techniques you can employ while racing. Now let's look at some facts about kart stats. Just like in Mario Kart 7, acceleration works based on a tier system. If you have 1 bar or 1.75 bars, you will have the exact same level of acceleration. Your acceleration won't go up until you get to 2 bars, it won't increase again until you get to 3 bars, and so on and so forth. Speaking of stats though, did you know that when you're using motion control steering, the handling stat gets maxed out no matter what character or vehicle parts you're using? It doesn't actually show it though. This is why certain tracks like Dry Dry Desert have the majority of record holders using motion control steering. Test it out for yourself, you'll really notice that your turning circle has improved. Not that I personally think motion control steering is worth it though. Last, but definitely not least, we have hidden stats. Normally we can see these 5 main stats, but there is also the hidden stats Speed Water, Speed Air, Speed Ground, Handling Water, Handling Air, Handling Ground, and Mini Turbo. None of these can be seen in game, but are worth taking into consideration if you plan on tackling some time trials. There will be a link in the description if you want to have a look. So those are all the techniques and tips I have for now. If you'd like to see some Mario Kart action, me and a friend have a series where we verse complete randoms online. Maybe we'll run into you someday. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.